What's the number one failure point on a Mercedes AC system? The title of this video is a little bit misleading because there's a co this is a common thread with a lot of AC systems, although I will say that we deal with this a lot on classic Mercedes and it's a it's a difficult problem to solve in some cases because the part that I'm mentioning for certain models isn't even readily available. Sometimes we send them to Classic Auto Air to get rebuilt. But if you're wondering what this is and you don't know, and you should know, it's an AC filter dryer, receiver dryer. And what this thing does, this tank does, is it takes the high pressure Freon that's burning hot coming out of the condenser that's been compressed to about 200, 250 PSI. And then it circulates it through a desiccant bag and then sends it on to the expansion valve. Now this exists because the desiccant removes moisture from the Freon if there is any moisture. There's not supposed to be any, but it happens. It also removes any impurities like gray death if you have an R4 compressor or, I don't know, sludge because you didn't clean the system out very well or because of oxidization of the oil. It does a lot of important stuff. What happens with these dryers though over time is because they are essentially a filter slash, I don't know, slash dryer because they dry out the Freon. They do get blocked and constricted and a lot of cars that have had major AC compressor failures, particularly if they're leaking badly, we find that these things are blocked. A good dryer should be able to pass Freon with very little effort. I don't mean no effort, but very little effort. If you start putting in, let's say, 50 PSI and getting 25 or 30 out, there's a restriction inside this dryer that's not allowing you to get fluid to go all the way through. And as the desiccant absorbs more and more moisture, it becomes even harder for for um, the Freon that's circulating through your system to pass through it. We see a lot of cars, or I used to see a lot of cars where, especially W108, 114, and 115 chassis cars that had um, older dryers and older AC systems, where the dryer would get collapsed and the AC would stop circulating. This is particularly true on W108 cars that are the tall cylindrical dryer. This tall cylindrical dryer was mounted on the condenser and it was used on 280 SE 4.5s, uh, 70 and 71, and 72 280 SE sedans with a specific type of Thermo King system and bare condenser. And also on the W109 chassis, other than the 6.3 starting, well, I guess on the 300 SEL 4.5. It's the only one I can think of. I'm not sure if it was ever used on the 280S. If you know whether it was or not, drop it in the comments. But these dryers like to get particularly constricted. Then they put too much pressure in the system and compressors start working against themselves, blowing out front seals. The Freon can't circulate and it never cools down. Now we used to think that this was an expansion valve problem. But the expansion valves, once we would flush them through, they seemed to work okay. And that's when we learned that dryers were failing under load. Now, I had a 300 SEL 6.3 I was working on one time that blew up an AC hose, and it was because the dryer was, blo was blocked and it was starting to swell, but only under working conditions, and it was a new dryer. That means that when the system was working or under working pressure, the dryer would block itself. It would swell and block, get blocked inside, but at atmospheric pressure, it seemed to be fine. So keep in mind that this can happen as well. This also happened on my 300 TD, and I took it apart and I found a lot of black oil inside indicating moisture had penetrated the system. So this is something to keep in mind. I know that Mercedes makes dryers for all the 107 and 126 chassis. 
but they don't make them for 123s currently. You have to use a Metrix or Mahli dryer, but I have found that the Italian website Spareto, S-P-A-R-E-T-O, sells a dryer made by a Dutch company called NSF, and it seems like this dryer is actually made in the EU. Anyway, if you found this video helpful and useful, go replace your dryer if your AC performance is really starting to, to slow down. And um, also, don't, you know, don't just dump Freon into your air conditioner if it hasn't been working in a long time. Try to clean it out a little bit, you know, and flush it out. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tap the bell for notification. And we'll talk in the future.